welcome back to Vlogmas day two. So I have been dying to do this. I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm decorating my coffee bar. It's very bare right now because I took all of my fall decor down. Um, I had that video up this past week and you guys can go check that out if you wanna see how I had it decorated for fall. But for Christmas, I'm going a little bit all out and I got some different things. I've been collecting some things um, to put up and it's kind of a dreary day today. So um, excuse the lighting if it's a little bit wonky, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And the way that I decorate, I might have mentioned this in my Christmas decorating video for the rest of the house. Um, I there's times that I move things, change things, just like kind of see how I like stuff. So um, as I go through this and I'm kind of putting my stuff together, um, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. And hopefully by the end of it, I have a finished product that I like and I'll be able to show you everything that I did. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like right now. And then down in here, I have extra mugs and coffee. I keep other things in this. Not that long ago, I did a little tour um, in a vlog. If I can remember, I will try to link it below. Um, but right now I have um, my shelf that I keep on the wall. I've debated on getting a different rack for here, but for now I have fun with um, this shelf. Um, that would, Something that would hold more mugs. So this is um, what I have going on up here. There is, behind this is like our thermostat thingy for the in-floor heating in the kitchen and living room. And then behind this is a cable port. <laughs> So, oh, and there's one of the girls' dress-up rings. So I do have to have kind of certain sizes of stuff to hide that stuff there, but nothing's behind those. So I'm not sure. I'd like to keep this one in with my Christmas decor. I'm gonna take the green out. Um, I had had this up for fall, so I mixed that color into my fall decor. These are actually empty. I need to get some more. I'll probably just throw them away. And I, yeah, I'm not sure. I have a drip pot. I've debated on getting a Keurig, but I think I'm just gonna stick with my good old drip pot for now. I, it really doesn't matter to me to make one cup at a time in my drip pot. I'm gonna kind of clear my space and wipe everything down and then get started. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new since I'm washing everything up really well, I decided I might as well just do what I normally do um, to clean my coffee maker. So I usually fill this about halfway with water and then I do the rest with white vinegar. And oh my goodness, when this thing is really, really bad, I can tell such a huge difference. Like the drip is so much faster <laughs> whenever I do this. And you can do this to your Keurigs too. You can put vinegar in the water tank on your Keurig. I used to have a Keurig and um, I did this to it as well. And then I'll run it through and then I usually will run about three more pots of just water through the whole thing to make sure all the vinegar is out. And usually like even the little bit of um, coffee condensation kind of brown stuff right there will come off. The coffee grounds wipe up really easily. Everything just cleans up really good with the white vinegar. So while I'm doing all of this, and before I wipe the actual coffee maker, I'm gonna run this through. Letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Okay, I think I have it situated on how I want my basics. This tray um, was something that my mom had sitting on her island for a while, and I just, um, she said, why don't you try to figure out a way you can use it at your house for now? So um, I thought this would be really fun to pull in. I'm actually bringing in a lot of this metal um, into different places of my house for um, Christmas, if you guys saw my decorate with me yesterday, then you already know that. Um, so, and it works out perfect to put the coffee 
maker right in this tray. And I realize it's kind of cutting off some of my mugs here, but I feel like when it comes to Christmas, it's fun to put a lot of things in areas, makes it feel a little bit more cozy. And um, so now I think I'm gonna focus on what I'm doing up here. I have these couple things that I um, picked up. This is actually from Michael's and I want to use it somehow in the coffee bar. And then this was like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a garland. And I think I want to use it up on the shelf once I have everything figured out. I want to put a letter board back up here, but I have another one that is a different color. And so I'm going to try both of them and see which one I like better. This is a couple things that I picked up um, along the way. So I had coffee in these, but to be honest, I haven't even been using them. I mainly just get my bag of coffee out of there and put my coffee in. So I think I'm gonna put the mini marshmallows in one, and then the other one, I think I'll take the lid off, and actually, sorry, it's being a little bit loud. Um, um, put the candy canes just sticking into the top of this one. And then I put this in here. I'm going to put um, cutout cookies in here just for little treats whenever the girls are having some hot chocolate or anything like that. Then this cute little guy I actually found at Big Lots. I was like, oh my word, how perfect. So it's just, um, you know, mini marshmallows and hot chocolate. I actually often make hot Nesquik for the girls, so um, when that runs out, we'll probably just be doing that with these. And then this was a cute little um, pack of napkins that I wanted to put in there. So I'm gonna kind of, I need to wash these. I'm gonna kind of assemble all of this and put a few of the things back in here that I generally use like my stevia and things like that and then I want to work on this. I had looked at putting these into it but um, because these are frosted and these are frosted I just decided to kind of stick with the frosted stuff um, instead of pulling in just the regular greenery and then I have my little white trees over here. I, I'm really liking it. I'm loving how it's coming together so now I'm going to put more water in there and and um, just keep going. The truth is the light we are healing. Even though words are deceiving, you move on. Cause every time I try, yeah, every time I dream, there's always this big part of me when I believe in what I see. If you can make me. 
just adding another mug here from out of the dishwasher. I am loving how all of this came together. It's so simple and that's exactly my style is just simplicity and neutral colors. I just, I'm really liking this. And then this is something that I will leave this way probably all winter long. That's one reason I decorate very neutral for Christmas is because it's actually more or less my winter decor. And then I just leave it up um, throughout the winter, but there are times I change things around and whatnot. So um, I'll quickly go through all of this so this um, sign came from home goods and the it came with the black letters but the gray ones the ones in cursive um, I got on clearance at Target um, these two I just picked up at Michaels on Black Friday and I don't know I think I paid like two bucks for them or something like that this thing right here I actually have a tutorial I made it last year and I will link that video below and then um, the frame was I think either thrifted or from a yard sale this big cutting board is from Ikea this here is also from Michaels uh, the bristle brush trees I think came from Walmart or Target last year this little candle right here is from Grove and it's a Mrs. Myers candle it's the Iowa pine one and it smells so good and then these here were both vintage jars I had I decided to pull up um, some more of my mugs since I kind of lost a couple hooks with having this sitting here I figured I might as well just um, put some mugs up here and then this little garland like I mentioned earlier is from Michaels and it has um, I don't know if you guys saw but I actually used like twisty ties that you use on trash bags um, it's hidden underneath of there and on this side I didn't really need one so I just kind of twisted it all around and um, this stuff is on wire it's actually kind of in their section where they have the little stakes of things you can put into your tree so if you're looking for that that's where that came from these my mom gave me she gives me ornaments every single year and this was just a set she gave me one year and then I put Christmas cookies in there this I believe is from either a yard sale or TJ Maxx I know that's two totally different things but I think that's where that came from the the holder and then I'm not sure where I got the pine cone the little tree I had showed in my Black Friday haul and it comes from Target this is from Hobby Lobby these stakes here here I think are from Hobby Lobby um, this here I got at Big Lots this came from Big Lots these were from the Target dollar spot these are from the dollar store um, my coffee maker is from Target and then also this tray is from Home Goods. so I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I know we're gonna enjoy this little station through the winter time drinking hot drinks if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Also, if you missed my whole house decorate with me that was posted yesterday, go check that video out. I hope that this gave you a lot of inspiration for your coffee bar, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.